so questions 443 string compressions so basically they want you to output uh, to compress a string for example the string is like a a a b b c c c d so they want you to convert it into a form of uh, a tree a tree b two c tree and d when there's only one values of uh of the factors then we will not give a call like one so it simply say d and what they want you to do is to output the result uh in place so I want you to return the new length of, of the array yeah so this is very important they want you to do it in place right? in place in place which means you cannot create a new array and then just assign a value you want to modify the, you need to modify the original values so very straightforward let's start so we initialize a cow equal to one to indicate the cows of the current characters and we want to iterate through the whole all the characters in order so use a for loop length so we say concern current characters is equal to uh, character dots i um yeah so there's two cases so if current is equal to equal to character dot i plus one or if current is not equal to characters i plus one so it's not equal to the next characters right um so there will be, there will be cases that there's no next characters which means uh we are at the last characters already then of course there will be no next characters then we will simply treat it as they are different so if when is the last characters also yeah so let's do it switch the order and we can start coding so how do we check if the current characters is the last characters we say if i equal equal to character of length minus one or current is not equal to characters dot i plus one Hmm. Then, when this happened, we want to assign the characters and the cows to the original original array by replacing the original original uh, values. But we need to have an index point, right? We will have an index to record the. Uh, to write out the cursor positions so we start with what sub index equal to zero so we will say uh characters dot mm, index is equal to characters uh, current characters so input characters so if the count is other than one then we also want to replace uh, with cow right so we want to say that uh, index plus equal to 1 if cow other than 1 then characters index is equal to cow what they want the, if the format to be in uh, strings so we want to copy it to strings and we also want to in increment the index yeah um, after all this we want to uh, clear the duplicate counts for the next character so we simply say cow equal to one right we initialize the cow so else else means if the current character is equal to the next character then we simply do nothing we do nothing other than 
we increment the count by one. Yeah, that's all. So they want what you want to output. They want to, they want to output the length of the array. So which we can see the length of the array is simply the last modified uh, index points plus one. But since we always do, we have always performed a plus one for every for every number or every characters that we replace in, then there's no need to do anything on the index. We simply to return the index. Right? The index is actually the length of the array. Uh, that's all for our code. So let's try to submit. They're wrong. What's wrong? Our output is 12. They will output 1 and 2. <laughs> pretty funny. Pretty funny. Uh, 1 and 2. So, what can we do to achieve this? Uh, when the count is larger than 1, we want to count the length of the num, right? Length of the count. So, we say uh, count length is equal to count dot to strings dot length. And we also want to have a cow strings equal to cow dot two strings. Yeah. Uh, yeah, let's do it a smarter way. And then for each of the number, we just go for a for, for loop. For as well, j smaller than cow length, j plus plus. And we simply do the same thing again, uh, but this time round, we'll be adding, uh, we'll be adding cow, cow string j. Yeah. So let's check it. Mm, check it with a more complicated example. Ah, here we have one and two. Okay, so let's try to submit. Ah, oh, yes, we got it. Yeah. Oh, so let's do a time complexity analysis. Time and space complexity. So for time, uh, straightforward. O n because we iterate the characters once right so for space complexity is simply o1 because we didn't utilize any additional space except for these two counter so that's all for these sections and if you want to looking for other solutions legal solutions in javascript you can refer to the github link below and the source code for these submissions is also provided in the github link ah, listed below so that's all for these questions yeah, see you in the next questions.